Do you want to know the secret to success? I'm talking the surefire way to get you out of your own way and finally have the real estate business that not only you want, but what you actually are capable of and what you deserve. So the secret, ironically, actually came to me after I was already making quite a bit of money in real estate, but it still has changed in my entire life and it's changed the way that I go about business. So a few years ago, I was at like a really, really big broker event. Um, I'm talking one of the national real estate conferences where you had a few thousand people in the room. And if you have never been to an event like this, first of all, I'm going to encourage you, get uncomfortable, get outside of your local market. There's something so powerful about like getting on a plane, going to a place, meeting new people, being in a new environment. But what I find is that I always get something out of these events. And this was my aha. So you had so many people coming to the stage talking about you know, the way they run their business and the way they were producing. And I will tell you that I felt like I was doing my thing and I was doing my thing. Like comparison is a thief of joy. I was doing my thing. But when I tell you that there were some major, major hitters on the stage that were selling hundreds of millions of dollars in real estate per year, you know, having large teams, like really taking their real estate business and running it like corporations. And then you had individual agents, right, who maybe didn't have those large of numbers, but were extremely successful in their own right for what success looks like for them. And I noticed a pattern, right? Whether the speaker was on the stage to talk about building a team or, you know, I'm with EXP Realty, so they talk about building their rev share or whether they were talking about their mindset habits or how they broke into luxury or like whatever their next big thing was, every single person that came to the stage talked about their coach and the importance of their coach in their life. Now, I'm going to just be really transparent here. And I know this might sound crazy because I now am a coach. I figured that. But at that time, yo, I was making somewhere between, uh, I, I was probably at the half a million dollar a mark year or half a million dollars a year mark in my business. And I will tell you that before I discounted the value of coaching, especially when I was already making money, right? Or, but first, even before that, I discounted it when I wasn't making money. Like I would always try to size up the individual instead of looking at it from a, like, I, I took it, I looked at it from a lack mindset of like, then these people trying to take my money, probably the same way a lot of people think about tithing at church. I'm not even gonna get into all that. But I made it about the person or the company instead of really making it about me and investing in myself and investing in my business. But after the 5th, 11th person came to the stage, and again, this was not an event. It was not like a coaching event where like a particular coach put on the event. They were talking about all different coaches, right? But everyone echoed like just the importance of how being in a mastermind group or being in a coaching program or having their direct business coach, how that just impacted the results that we were seeing today. And I literally, like, I literally remember being in that meeting and I, or at that conference and I, I texted a friend, one of my real life real estate besties. Now I will say this, I probably should have vetted a little bit deeper, but I'm still not mad about it. And I just said, Hey, I think I need a coach, right? Because yes, I was making money, but I was hustling. I was hustling backwards. I didn't have any systems I, and I wasn't sad, but I just knew that there had to be a better way than I was running this business. And how was I going to scale beyond, I didn't even know what scaling looked like, but how was I going to get beyond where I was? Because, you know, I felt like it was a junk drawer, right? It looked all pretty from the outside. But when you went in the inside, I don't know what's in there. I don't even know, like, I don't even know, let alone, you know, what's going to be in there. So I texted a friend, a real life real estate bestie, told her I needed a coach. She connected me with a real estate coach. And literally I was in coaching within the next week. And, and this is going to sound really crazy. I don't know in real estate, right? If I ended up making more money per se, after I started coaching, and some of you might be like, really? Okay, I'm done listening, but go with me here. 
I definitely learned how to run my business like a business because of the guidance and the support of that coach. That's when I was able to establish a team. Honestly, like that's when during this season of my life, that's when Real Estate Bestie was birthed. And I had a lot of conversations about with that then coach about what this would look like. So a million percent, that investment was so important for me. But let me tell you, that's the secret to success, right? Everyone wants to be successful. And, you know, unfortunately, I know we want like a magic, we want like an Ozempic of business, which even Ozempic, you got to put in some work (laughs) if you were going to use that. But one thing that I have found the true secret to being successful at anything is to have some form of coaching, some form of mentorship, some some form of support because environment is everything. Okay. And I made that commitment then. Now this was probably four years ago. Now I cannot imagine a life, my life, living my life without having some sort of coaching investment where I am going both ways, right? I couldn't imagine me not pouring into other people and being their coach. And I cannot imagine a life where I do not have a coach who is pouring into me. But let me tell you the difference though. And I'm going to tell you like, like here are some, some really surefire ways, the things that I have learned on why having a coach is super important. But first, I'm going to be a million percent transparent with you and say, you got to make sure that you understand your goal. I'm going to do a whole different video on this, but there have been some times where, you know, maybe I was like, me and the coach weren't fully aligned. And I'm not talking like I was hard head and I wasn't being coachable, but you know, there, there came a point like my original real estate coach there came a point that the level of like her capacity with coaching my business and what I was doing had exceeded her experience. So she was no longer the best fit for me. Now, even though that relationship ended, that se- that that section of my life ended, that doesn't mean that, okay, I'm just willy nilly and I'm not coaching anymore, right? I still, I just needed to find someone who was more aligned with where my future was, right? She took me from A to G, After G, I couldn't go any further with her. So I had to find somebody else who would help me go from G to H. So I do want to point that out is that it's very, very important that you are clear. But if I wasn't clear, and let me back up, if I wasn't clear on exactly what I needed at the time, then I may have stayed in that coaching relationship too long and then blame the coach. Oh, she not this, she not that. Where, you know what? I just outgrew her, okay? So let's talk about it. I want to talk about why you need a coach in general. Okay. And what I have found my husband, I love my husband. He's smart. He He's a smart guy. Like sometimes he says some stuff and I'll be like, okay, I see what you, I see what you did there. And he has always been a strong proponent of mentorship, always having someone who has gone before him to help him. And he says that the importance of having a good mentor or a good coach is to help you minimize your mistakes. And let me tell you something, there are a lot of costly mistakes to be made in the real estate field. And I think that because a coach, and this again, when you are aligning yourself and figuring out, okay, exactly where do I want to go and and what skills, like what experience does this person have and how can they lead me? When they do have that true experience, then they can help you like, oh, not go down that rabbit hole and continue to make those mistakes because they can see from like a 30,000 foot view that you can't see from. I'm thinking about one of my girls in, I'm saying my girls, one of the besties in Bestie Accelerator Coaching. You know, we have this app called Voxer. And if you're not familiar with the Voxer app, I absolutely love it because it keeps me and the coaching besties connected all the time. So in between coaching sessions, you know, they can Vox me, they can Vox each other. And we literally are helping each other problem solve and just think differently as we're out here in these real estate streets. So she sent a Voxer message about a situation and literally like just as she's telling me or telling us the story, I could hear the mistake. Like I could hear that if she took that same energy, not to say she was wrong, but if we didn't correct some of the thinking and some of the language, 
then it could cost her the transaction. And I was able to help her minimize those mistakes. Now, that's not to say that you won't still do some things and have to figure some stuff out because let's just be honest, like, you know, the greatest teacher are those lessons, those hard lessons that you learn. But when you invest in coaching, when you have someone who has gone before you that can help you think through situations, then you can make less mistakes. Okay. And think about it. Like, think about it if you cook, right? If you cook, if you cook, I think about, I had a friend who um, she used to make, oh, I'm going to get it wrong. Those little, I forget the name of the little dessert that she used to make, right? Um, Crepes or I don't know, whatever it was, don't matter what it was. But anywho, I remember I was going to make some and she told me like, hey, you need almond flour, but don't buy it from here, right? Because if you buy almond flour from this store, their store brand actually makes it come out like not the consistency you're going to want and you're going to be frustrated. And I knew that because she had to use that brand. She had used other brands. She had tried the recipes and she figured out, oh, every time I use this, this is what happens, right? So because she had gone before me, she was able to minimize my mistake and my frustration on making the little dessert. And now I'm, oh, it's, it's macarons. That's what it was, it's macarons. Okay, so they're gonna help you be able to minimize mistakes. Here's the next reason, okay? This is gonna sound crazy, but like drop a like like this video or tell me in comments on the podcast like have you ever felt like a failure in this business right have you ever felt like you know what yeah this is like, and I know it's crazy we liking it but like I just want to know I'm not by myself like I want to see who I'm talking to they're going to affirm your failures and I know that this sounds crazy but Sometimes as you're building business, right, as an entrepreneur, there might be something that comes up and you think, oh my goodness, I'm the only one. Like if this is happening to me, let me throw in the towel because I must be doing something wrong. This absolutely must not be my calling. And look, a good coach is going to be like, oh girl, like, yeah, that 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 is completely, oh, you got the door slammed in your face. Oh, somebody cussed you out. Oh, nobody came to the open house. Okay. Actually, oh, you got one. Oh, you, you just, you only got one person at the open house. Oh, so sad. No girl, that's actually like, that's good, right? You have one person, you were able to have your real estate conversation. You have a hot lead in your pipeline. Now we will talk about, right? Strategies on how to get different results. But they're going to like just really level help level set your expectation because let's be honest, a lot of us, myself included, have come to this real estate life with the set of expectations that the TikTok and the YouTube and the Instagram have set for us. And that's just not always real life, right? So a coach is going to not only affirm you as you are failing, but they're going to show you how those failures are just stepping stones for you to fail forward. And I often think, you know, we all know that statistic that 87% of real estate agents fail within the first five years, but I wonder how many of them quit too early because they thought they were the only ones who were like getting it wrong or struggling to do the things, right? So a good coach is going to help affirm just exactly where you are and help you game plan on how to get to the next level. Now, here's another reason. Reason number three why you need a coach, okay, is that, listen, I think this might be the biggest one, quite honestly. And, and tell me in comments if you think so too. I really think that one of the benefits of coaching is to be exposed to a different type of thinking. Just go with me here. If you've never been exposed the the fact that things can be different or, you know, like, like, let's just say you got into real estate and you're thinking, I want to replace my income. Maybe you're thinking that because you've never seen somebody make a hundred thousand dollars a month, or you've never without like just, you know, killing themselves in the process, right? You've never seen someone think about having a conversation this way. One thing that we do in coaching that I absolutely love is one of, it's funny because when I was, first in real estate and I had my first coach, I hated this. Now that I'm on the other side, I see the power and I absolutely love it is I love role playing, right? I love role playing situations and scenarios because it exposes, right? I have a, nearly a decade in this business and even longer if you talk about how long my husband been here and I've been a part of his conversations. But the way that I'm going to have a conversation and approach an object, um, an objection and things like that, I love exposing my coaching students to that because that way of thinking 
helping them shift from an employee mindset to a CEO mindset, to a business owner and leader mindset. It is everything. And that is one of the integral things in coaching is being exposed to a different level of thinking. But I'm gonna back up and say, this is also why though, you do have to be discerning about who you're going to coach with, right? Like no shade, but like I was once working with a therapist who had been like twice divorced. No shade, but like I want to work with a therapist who, especially a marriage therapist who like got a healthy marriage. And I'm not saying like marriage is not easy, right? I'm married and, and but th- does it make sense? Like I want, I want to see that you have had success in this area like you're not teaching me theory but you have had success in this area so make sure that the mindset that you are being exposed to and the thinking that you're being exposed to has actually experienced success in the area that you are seeking success but when I think like when I think about even my current business coach just the way that you know, me and her can have conversations about marketing and strategy. And then, and and that's something else too. Like, and and then I get to bring some of the thinking that, you know, what I invest in coaching looks different than what it looks like to invest in coaching with me at this level. So you get even like, you get to absorb her thinking when you coach with me and I get to absorb the thinking of who she's worked with. So yeah, just being exposed to somebody who thinks differently than you is everything. And I, I I know I'm harping on this, but let me just tell you, one of the toughest things to do as you are building your life and building your business is to challenge yourself to think about what you're thinking about, because I guarantee you that what's happening in between your ears, it is keeping you stuck. So, and it's one thing to consume, you know, positive, because I was like that. I was like, I listen to all the positive books, I listen to, you know, the podcast, but in the heat of the moment, like when this, the, these voices in your head are, are going negative, sometimes you need to talk it out and being exposed to abundant thinking and just people who think more creatively, it is a huge game changer. And that is one of the huge, huge benefit of coaching. Okay. Then let's talk about this next one, a benefit of coaching is strategy. Okay. There are some strategies that I have in my business, some systems that we have in place. You know, when I think from anything from like the way that I do my buyer consultation to like just even, and I'm not even talking like sometimes I know y'all think about like the whole like, I need a consultation, but you also need to know how to have those consultations, right? There are things that I say in my initial interaction with a buyer or seller where I am setting boundaries, I am, but I'm making it all about them, right? But I'm setting boundaries. I'm I'm giving extreme direction on when to call me, when not to call me on how we gonna see these houses on pricing. Like there are just certain strategies that I use in communication that it took me years to figure out, right? But when my coaching students are with me and, and I model these things and I share with them the resources, they get all of that strategy up front. And that is one of the benefits. And this is what I think fast tracks you to success, right? You ain't got to spend all your time on Pinterest, like trying to reinvent the wheel. When you have someone who is going to literally, literally give you their systems, give you their strategies so that you can start implementing them in your business. And then what happens is you will end up fast tracking your way to success. I want y'all to go back to the last podcast that we did. I don't even know what episode it was. I'll link it here. But it was with one of my students that went from zero to 13 deals in six months. Okay. And yes, she, you know, she did a lot of work, but we helped her too with just some strategies and some systems and how to run her business like a business. And the average agent, right? Last year in 2023, over 50% of agents closed between zero and one deals. And in six months, she went from zero to 13 and still got stuff pending. Okay. Just had a million dollar listing appointment. Do you hear what I'm saying to you? So getting those strategies from your coach is going to be imperative. I'm like, and then here's the last thing, right? I think that one of the huge benefits in coaching is to just be in relationship, right? Just to not have to do it alone. And okay, I don't know where we have gotten off where we've gotten off or where we got the idea that there is some badge of honor 
by doing stuff by themselves, right? The whole idea of real estate bestie is like you need three people in your life. You need a girlfriend, you need a god friend, and you need a guide, okay? And your coach can can assume one or all of those roles for you. And being able to do this business, business is lonely, right? Tell me in the comments, like, have you ever felt like you are doing this real estate thing and either, you know, even if you have real estate besties, sometimes it's like, I, I don't know if I can talk to them very transparently about, you know, how I felt when like real estate has made me cry on a very regular basis. And if I would have had some community, a relationship, like a coach who could just really talk me through, talk me off the ledge, it would have changed everything. And unfortunately, you know, we think that there's some big badge of honor by saying I did it all by myself. Well, honestly, yeah, but you're lonely on the top of the mountain and yeah, who cares, right? So being in relationship, like truly, truly having a supportive community, a supportive coach, that is a huge, huge benefit. I just think about like, like literally I'm unpacking even right now, right? One of my besties in Accelerator Coaching, she is literally unpacking like this mindset thing. And like, I can see, like, I can see the end. I can see where she's frustrated, where she's excited. And I can see the continual growth. And I know that by having a community where she can process, it's helping her so much. And it's just such a blessing to be a part of and watching her make money at the same time. Okay, so... That's the secret, okay? The secret is definitely changing your environment. So what does it look like, okay? And look, here, look, I just want to say this. If it ain't me, right? I get so frustrated when I see women, particularly, even to go even deeper, women of color who are just so against, like we will go to the Chanel, we will go to the Louis Vuitton, we will go on the trip, we will loom ourselves to death, but we will not make an investment in ourselves and in our businesses. And then we wonder why we don't get the same opportunities because the opportunities are being passed at the table. But if you never reserve your seat at the table, right? If you never put yourself in the positions where the conversations are happening, where the mistakes are being minimized, where the strategies and the results are being given, well, not the results aren't being given, but where the strategies are being given so that you can go out and get your results, then you're, you're going to stay behind the eight ball. My husband will say that, right? And we don't want to stay behind the eight ball. So whether it's me or somebody else, the secret in your business is getting the right coaching and mentorship. And I know your brokerage has classes, but that's like going to a buffet. They are serving the masses. It's time for you to go to a fine dining restaurant, right? Like you need the Del Frisco for your business who where you can literally go look at the menu order and get the exact support and help that you need to get you to the next level, okay? And if you want to explore what that looks like, Bestie Accelerator Coaching, we are open as I'm recording this video in October of 2024. We are definitely open and considering applications for our next cohort that starts in November. So go to rosemarylewis.com forward slash apply. I will put that link in the description box and listen, just apply. Like if you, if something tingling in your stomach and you're like, I know that I need this, but I'm scared. Forget the scared part. Okay. I, I'm. You should be scared to get in your car and drive. Right. But you have gotten over that fact. I hope. So forget the scare part, but how do you get to the part where you say, you know what, I'm ready to do something different and I'm ready to fast track my way to success because now I have the secret. So go ahead and head on over to rosemarylewis.com forward slash apply and I will talk to you later, bestie. Love you. Bye. If you enjoyed this episode and you have a real life bestie that you think it would resonate with, Y'all, do me a favor. Go ahead and hit that share button because you know what? We are better together. Make sure you share the podcast and I appreciate your reviews. I appreciate you giving me five stars more than you know. I'll talk to you next week.